anyone. Remember someone from television from 15 years ago is beyond me. It was all I can do to remember that I've run low on milk before I've walked past budgets. <laughs> Another candid glimpse into the life of one of Britain's top actresses. Read this. I notice you said top actress. It is appreciated. <laughs> so accurately portrayed, and I laughed, and I cried, and I was moved, and I was bowled over by the sincerity of the piece. Another nutter. I thought he had a nice turn of phrase. Well, he can't spell charisma. He seems like a nice lad. Oh. I wish I hadn't shown it to you now. I'm the only one going out and interviewing people, and everyone was asking when I was going to interview you, so... Everyone? It wasn't like you could have interviews with everyone else from Dark Sublime and not you. And, um, I really wanted to meet you, if possible. I can't believe no one's found you before. I'm not lost. <laughs> Holding the laughs as well. Yeah. Some big old laughs. Yeah. Big laughs. Big Funny laughs, show. Yeah. I did not expect yeah, it to no, be like that. Yeah, no, I wasn't expecting it to be I, I had no idea what it was going to be like, but it was one of the funniest shows I've seen this year. I mean, it's very moving. It's very funny. It goes into a world that, you know, people don't see very often. A world of science fiction and comic cons, but also the relationship between two people who would never normally meet. It's so kind of you to, like, spare the time for me. It's amazing being here. You're so fab. You are. You're awesome. I've just been boring Ollie senseless with all my old anecdotes. Oh no, not oh, at all. Well, at least we got those out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> there was a show I did way back when, Dark Sublime, and seems to have something of a reach beyond the years. Ollie's organising a convention. In Warsaw. Warsaw. The, the hotel. <laughs> Two days. 500 people. Wow. I, I think that everyone's got a story of, of, a, of a person, gay or, gay or straight, that, that they've sort of harboured feelings for and that, you know, what might have been and um, I, I, that really touched me actually, more than I expected it to. It wasn't the issue of the play, it was just quite a normal background to it and I thought that was quite refreshing. You got to just watch a, a great play with brilliant content where the characters just happened to be gay and I thought that was, uh, that was very moving. You're going to Bournemouth. You're not going to Warsaw. Fine! You'll have a lovely time in Bournemouth. Suzanne's there! Suzanne! Marianne loves you. And I know why she does. I've spent enough time with you. I understand the feeling. You and Marianne, I can see the... the warp and the weft of you. It's like you're tied together. You and I will never have what you and Marianne have. But we'll have what we have. That's what I want. If you've ever been to a convention, or if you are a Doctor Who fan, or a Star Trek fan, or are involved with science fiction, get a ticket for this show. Hi, Paul, come on! Oh, let's get out of here! No, Commander, this is where I have to be.